What's up guys, it's Aaron from Rudy Visuals and in today's video we are checking out this new monitor, the Desview R6 UHB. And you may be thinking to yourself, oh what's this, it's just another monitor, but check this out. So you're looking at 2800 nits of brightness. So let's find out why that's a good thing right after this intro. So one of the big complaints about field monitors, you know, that a lot of these lower end models, they're just not really all that bright, which makes them somewhat useless on really sunny and bright days. Most include a sunshade, which, you know, does help to a degree, but more often than not, you're still gonna have to kind of like squint to try and see over the reflections and light and that bright sun. And okay, we live in the UK, so sunny days aren't really that common. But for those of you in sunnier climes, this is a really big problem. Well, worry not because Desview has a monitor for you you guys which is the new R6 UHB which stands for ultra high brightness. It's a monitor designed to keep you shooting even on those super sunny days with a maximum peak brightness of a whopping 2800 nits. This thing gets so bright they don't even include a freaking sunshine they're like nah we good this is stronger than the sun. But is it any good? Well let's find out together. So firstly is it expensive? Thankfully the Desview R6 only has an RRP of about 279 US dollars. So this puts it firmly in the kind of upper level of budget orientated field monitors. But I think at this price point, considering what you get, you know, this will be a really appealing option. You know, there are cheaper options available for sure, but if you spend that little bit extra on a device like this, there are certain luxuries that you get. And there's definitely nothing budget about this screen. So it's a 5.5 inch full HD touchscreen, which accepts up to 4K input and output. You get a pixel density of 401 PPI and a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1 which is great for a screen of this size, meaning you get really sharp, vivid, and clean looking video feed. That to my eye looks very color accurate as well. So just to put that into context, an iPhone 12 Pro Max has a PPI of 458. So if you know how good that screen looks, this is pretty much nearly on par with that. The star of the show though really is that peak brightness of 2800 nits, which really does make this monitor stand out from the crowd. So we've used a number of different monitors in the past at different kind of price points. And honestly, none of them comes close to this like even in direct harsh sunlight you're still able to use it and see very clearly I mean they don't even include a sunshade which gives you an idea of how bright this gets the fact that most budget monitors are just simply not really usable on sunny days makes this a really big selling point for the R6 as well as a fantastic looking screen the actual touch interface makes using this monitor very easy and simple so the screen is responsive and they've added some really nice kind of shortcuts like dragging the screen on each side to control the brightness and the volume and also a pinch to zoom. Now personally I do like the option of having some physical buttons uh, so it loses a few marks for that but overall I found the R6 very very easy to use and it does help that the actual UI is really well organized and everything is grouped together in a logical way. <coughs> Sony cameras. <coughs> You've only got to see the difference between this and the screen on the 60 Mark II for example to see what a huge impact having that bright screen can make. And when it comes to features the R6 is no slouch in the this department either. You get your usual wealth of tools such as histograms, waveforms, vector scopes, false colors, zebras, and focus peaking as well. Pretty much everything you might need to ensure you're getting video that's sharp and in focus, well exposed, and color accurate as well. And these are really especially useful for those of you using, you know, lower end cameras like the M50. They exclude a lot of these kinds of tools. So for a relatively cheap outlay, you're getting a bunch of tools that you might have to pay a high premium to get in a more expensive camera body. Add to that, there's a headphone jack for audio monitoring as well as an SD card to upload your own LUTs. You get a very capable and comprehensive piece of gear to add to your filmmaking arsenal. Now in terms of the build quality for me it gets a solid 7 out of 10. So it's compact and lightweight at about 240 grams uh, but at this price point the chassis is you know all plastic but despite that it feels very very durable uh, and quite sturdy and I think it could take quite a good beating uh, especially if you're like me and you don't really baby your equipment and you're kind of like you know rough handling it a bit throwing it in your backpack and going from shoot to shoot but I feel like this could take quite a lot of punishment. What's interesting in the R6 is actually you have an inbuilt fan and cooling system which is needed to keep the unit functioning and cool to keep up with that max brightness so you can set the fan speed manually or just leave it on auto it's not what I would call loud but on the max setting it is audible here's a little clip of it It's 
not loud enough to distract from like dialogue or sound but if you're trying to get the best audio out of something and you know you need complete silence it's definitely worth noting if you've got a decent mic that's you know further away and pointing towards a noise source it's probably not going to be a big problem it's definitely not a big deal breaker for me this also gives you an option to use NPF or E6 batteries as well as powering it via a DC power supply which is probably your best bet if you're going to be filming for long periods because of that max brightness you know while I use these kind of like cheaper third-party batteries I found I was able to get about anywhere from half an hour to about an hour at that maximum brightness so your mileage may vary here regardless I'd still use a power supply for any kind of serious work so I think that pretty much covers everything for $279 there are a lot of different monitors you could get at this price range but I think the R6 from Bezview is probably one of the best at this price point it's got really useful tools has a great touchscreen and again that maximum brightness just makes it stand out so much so for me I'd have no problem recommending this for people who are looking for a great field monitor but one that won't hurt your wallet too much look no further it's the Desview R6 UHB anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video if you've got any questions feel free to leave us a comment down there below uh, give this video a like if you liked it and subs if you loved it follow us on socials as always I'll see you on the next one thanks guys peace